You can call me Petra or you can call me Bothix. Welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe. The purple sugar cane, also known as the Succadum officinatum. With this plant, you've got to realise that green and white is common. Red is kind of a bit, bit more rarer, but purple is the rarest. It can be used as ornamental, cultural or culinary. It can be chewed fresh or alternatively made into a syrup. In Asia and Caribbean, they use it for decor, rituals and festivals. In Thailand, the sugar cane represents family unity, wealth and sweetness in life. In Caribbean and African diaspora cultures, the sugar cane also represents ancestral strength, resilience and resourcefulness whilst also being used in Caribbean traditions and rituals, centering around symbolism in the ceremonies, tied to spiritual offerings and abundance. Whilst also in China, it is used for festivals for Chinese Lunar New Year. Whilst in China, it also represents rising fortune, sweet success and resilience. In China as well, they also tie it to doorways to ward off evil and invite good luck. In India, in Hindu culture, it also is very sacred to many festivals and rituals. During Pongal, sugar cane is offered to the gods and shared among families as a symbol of sweetness and prosperity. It is also linked to Lord Krishna and Kamadeva, the god of love, who was and is said to have a bow made of sugar cane. It is mainly known the purple variety for the fact that it's purple, but also the fact that it's striped. This variety also grows to about 2.4 meters to about 3.6 meters. So got another insulin plant, the Costus pictus, which should not be confused with the Camicostus cuspidatus. They are both very different, but this one is very tall. Um, it has yellow flowers that kind of, to me, remind me of dragon snaps. This one grows to one to four meters tall. It grows in clusters similar to that of the shampoo plant, but with the shampoo plant and the insulin plant, they are actually related like cousins. If you want tropical plants, I highly recommend as a New Zealander to go to Flying Dragon Nursery. I am personally going to pick myself up a large shampoo plant which retails at $99 but you can get small ones for $49.50. can grow up to 3 to 4.5 metres but in some cases a whopping 6 to 7 metres. It is also known as Zingaba Zerumbit. They are also known as pinecone ginger or wild ginger. It's cool shampoo ginger because you can use it as shampoo. See how tall the pictus is? Oh my god! This one here is a Camicostus cuspidatus, which grows to about 1 to 2 metres tall. They are much different than the pictus, as you can see the formation of flowers are way different. Also different variety of the same family, but different formation of flowers and different colour of the flower itself. They both have very different watering needs. So to be very, very careful on how you water the Camicostus cuspidatus over the pictus. This plant is good for managing diabetes and is still related to the shampoo plant. This plant here is called a cyclamen. See, it likes temperatures between 15 and 18 degrees Celsius. So I'm probably going to move this one because as you can see the flowers are getting a little stressed out. So. I'm going to put it on a windowsill and in bright but indirect light. It is one thirsty lady. I do love this colour of cyclamen, but the, the, the problem is I really want a yellow one, okay? Because as you know, I am all about my rare plants. And yellow as a cyclamen is very rare to have. Some of the first rare yellow cyclamen came from Germany, where they were selectively bred and gone through hybridization. They don't naturally occur in the wild 
in Lebanon and Africa, sometimes you'll get some cyclamen that go a pale yellow. These are not the yellow flowers that I'm talking about. The flowers I'm talking about are true cyclamen from the Cyclamen persicum. Not to be confused with Cyclamen libanoticum or Cyclamen africanum. This is Bothich Production, also known as Petra Star. I hope you like this video and see you next time.